In Venezuela, we are not in a civil war. We are a war against civilians. We are fighting on the streets just with a flag and just with a slogan. And they, they are throwing bullets at us. They're trying to make silence in Venezuela, killing everyone who disagrees with them. I became involved in politics when I was 16 years old. I became involved because I wanted to make a change. I saw the poverty in my country. I wanted to help them. When I went to the public sector, I saw the inefficiency of the public sector as well. Then someone recommended me a book, a book from Hayek. And when I read this book, I saw the light. You are just one generation away of lose your liberty. And that's what happened in Venezuela. Just to give you an example, in the 1970s, Venezuela was the 20th richest country in the world. Our GDP was only 13% down the United Kingdom. So Venezuela was a country with opportunities and was a country with freedom for everyone. But right now, in the economic freedom ranking, we are second to last, just after North Korea. In Venezuela in the 1970s, the government started adopting socialist economic policies that deteriorate the economy. In 1975, they nationalized all mining. In 1976, they nationalized the oil industry. That combined to interventionist policies create the huge mess that we have in Venezuela. However, the real problem began when Chavez rose to power. He rose to power because people feel um, a lot of disappointment in the traditional political parties and their promises. Chavez rose to power in 1999, and after that, he began adopting uh, policies against private property, against entrepreneurship, and against everyone who really wants to help and improve their lives. I come from a very poor country. However, those people are in more poverty now because of the policies of Chavez. 82% of our people are in poverty, 58% in extreme poverty, and 610 people don't eat three times per day. Socialism is about force, about dependency on the state, and repression, brutal repression. In Venezuela, we have been protesting for more than 100 days this year, in a row. More than 100 students have been killed, 4,000 have been in, are in jail right now, just because they want a better country. And that's something that we are fighting against, and that's a risk that we are taking right now, because for us, we need to fight. We want a free country, we want a free economy, and we want freedom to create opportunities for our families. Our people are not on the streets because they demand uh, more benefits or subsidies. No, because we want freedom. Right now, our people are living in misery because of socialism. Right now in Venezuela, we don't have media outlets to express ourselves. Right now in Venezuela, we don't have food in our supermarkets. Right now in Venezuela, we have a violent murder every 20 minutes. That was socialism is about, and we understood that. In Venezuela, we have something unique. We have a movement, a social movement, not promoted by the political parties, but from the people, just demanding one thing, and it's freedom, the basic thing that we need to grow and to rebuild our country. I encourage everyone at my university, at my community, and to everyone I know, to defend liberty, to defend our ideas. Why? Because I'm someone who comes from a country in which we lost our liberty. And we are trying to reconquer it, fighting on the streets and risking our lives. You can fight here for your liberty, debating. You can fight for your liberty here, talking to others, talking to your community. And that's something that I encourage you. For me, it's so important because for me, it's personal. I'm someone who is telling to you that I lost my freedom. Because when you are in a country like mine, in which you cannot express what you want to express, in which you cannot talk what you want to talk, and which you cannot prosper the way you want to prosper, you are not free. And here that you have that, please fight for that, and please help us in this fight. <laughs>